What's good YouTube, it's your man BG Tech Life and today we're going to talk about my Note 20 Ultra. What's good YouTube, like I said, we got my Note 20 Ultra right here and um, we're going to talk about what's on it. But, but first, let's talk about what's physically on it. Got a nice case from Nimbus 9 right here. Very dope Phantom 2 case. I um, really like these cases. They just really quality TPU cases. And they got some nice buttons. Real sense buttons right here. And you can actually uh, remove these buttons and change it with buttons of different colors. They got different color accent buttons. Really nice. So, let's get into it. All right. So, it's a Samsung device, guys. So, you know I'm rocking my always on display. I keep that on. Love to keep my always on display on. You got a couple different clock layouts you can use. I utilize this one. Simple clock with a gold type accent almost. Gold color. And that's very dope. Then we can go to my lock screen. And my lock screen is very dope, guys. I got this... Uh, M4 wallpaper. I'm gonna show y'all the app I got it from. I love Cause, guys. So a lot of phones, a lot of my phones are gonna have Cause as the wallpaper. I just think uh, car wallpapers are very dope. So that's how I'm rocking on this uh, Note 20 Ultra with the M4 wallpaper. I, I'm gonna let y'all know what app I got it from in a minute. I know y'all wanna know. All right, so let me try to get me an unlock going. Okay, very simple unlock. So here guys, now we down to business. We down to the home screen. Now guys, my home screen is um very simple. Matter of fact, let's talk about my launcher. I'm new I'm using Nova Launcher for this setup because you can do a lot of customizing with Nova Launcher and we'll get into that uh momentarily but yeah this is nova launcher so the first thing about my home screen i keep a simple uh three by three little app layout in the center a simple uh google launcher type clock widget and i keep a, a, a google like pretty much stock google look with the nova launcher it gives you that option um on the layout and on, on my uh, dock i keep a dock and some widgets with the with the google uh and now under the dock or whatever but um yeah so my go-to uh apps on my home screen basic simple stuff you know facebook instagram y'all know what that is twitter amazon youtube youtube music love youtube music youtube studio for us uh content creators you know that's very dope for us we need to know our analytics and things like that and watch different things play store where i download my apps and cash app if you're not familiar with cash app it's a way to deal with currency and send people money and receive money and uh place bets on your favorite football teams things of that nature so yeah this is my home screen is uh the nova launcher is what i'm using and if i swipe left on this with no bixby um i got a google basically my google news and stuff like that i like to use google or to the left other than bixby i just like the way this looks and there's a lot more things that are more relevant to me um news stories things of that nature so i use this is what i'm using to the left it's got it's called the google companion or the nova launch companion so nova launch is able to uh you can get the your uh google now when you swipe left which is very dope guys that's what i'm using uh when you swipe left with my nova so back home now very simple um to the right i've got my email email to the right so we just got my primary email box you know nothing crazy i like to be able to see my emails when i want to see them and go ahead and jump in and compose one when i want to compose it so um yeah this is basically just a big gmail widget a full screen so i can check what's going on in my primary email box and then i i use i roll with three screens plus the uh, google companion screen and i we swipe it one more time and you've got actually a uh calendar this is the month calendar widget i'll show you guys this widget uh momentarily is a uh, very dope widget i like to it's always nice to have a calendar available guys so that's what i'm using for my actual uh it, it you can set it up to uh sync with your google and stuff like that 
but it just gives it a better look. It's just getting more looks. As you can see, I've got like a, a transparent white type look and it goes good against the black. And like I said, oh yeah guys, another M4, a black M4 for my wallpaper. And I got both of my wallpapers from the same app. I'm gonna show y'all momentarily um, what app that was from. So not too much more going on guys. Kept it very simple. If you swipe up, uh, I got an app drawer and everything in here is my app drawer. I like my app drawer to be, um, what is this? Ho vertical, horizontal, I'm sorry. Yeah, horizontal. My app drawer is horizontal. That's how I keep it. Um, I just like my app drawers to be horizontal. I like to put a card in the background, but you can still see my wallpaper dark enough, a card dark enough where I can see the text for the name of the uh, app. But um, yeah, I like for my, my, my home screen wallpaper to still show through on my apps. And I just like to swipe left to right and I like them in alphabetical order. So I'm very simple when it comes to that. I'm not about to go through all these apps because a lot of them you guys already know. So I'm just gonna go and go through some special apps um, that I like and that I utilize. But um, other than that, I don't use the edge features as much. Um, I'm just very detailed in what I do on my home screen. I try to keep my device streamlined as possible. So calendar, and um, I'm gonna show y'all these apps that I think will be useful for you guys that I'm using. And these are a couple apps that I'm utilizing right now. We're gonna start at the top left. CSR Racing, guys, that's a great racing game. I have big fun playing CSR Racing, very dope. Um, very, especially on this, I got my phone running at uh, that adaptive 120 hertz. Um, looks amazing on this screen, guys. So CSR Racing, if you need something to do, CSR Racing is very dope. To the And to the right of CSR Racing, we have Intro Maker. Intro Maker, guys, if you have any type of YouTube channel or you like to mess with videos and things of that nature, um, they got a lot of dope templates that you can go ahead and customize and make your intro for your YouTube channel or whatever you do on social media or how, whatever you need. Now, Intro Maker is very dope, so that's just a jewel I'm dropping for content creators out there. Um, find my device, that's dope. Anything, any Android device signed in under your main Gmail account um, or whatever Gmail account you got assigned under, if, you know, I put all my phones under one Gmail account, I open find my device, and it can locate all of my devices, unless, unless they're off. But it'll let me know the last place I had it. So that's very dope. And you can play sounds and stuff to find your device. Like maybe it's in the couch or something like that. Twitch. We're going to start right here, guys. Twitch. Twitch is for gaming. It's for, to watch other people game. Um, I find myself doing that now. I, I got kind of into Call of Duty. So I have fun watching other people game sometimes and learning tips, uh, tips and tricks from them. So it's a very dope app, man. Um, very nice little app that... If I'm not around my Xbox and I can't play, I can watch others play. Um, PixArt, this is, I don't have the paid version, it's a free version. It do have some ads though, but you can really make some, uh, you can make, I make thumbnails with PixArt. You can add text, other pictures, things of that nature, PNGs, and um, get handle your business as far as the photos go. Intro Maker, it's more for videos, making videos and intros. PixArt, yeah, that's a, uh, for making like thumbnails and stuff. So yeah, uh, another jewel drop. Zedge, that's where I got both of my uh, my wallpaper and my lock screen wallpaper from. So they got like stuff like ringtones, even though I don't use ringtones anymore, but I love wallpaper. So you might want to check them out to customize your device. Telegram, on the Telegram, man. Um, Really, I all I use that for is Team 100 VIPs. We got a chat room for people that follow uh, the Team 100 crew. So check us out. Let me know if you want to join. And we got a, a Call of Duty crew also. So man, hey, let me know. Drop your gamer tag or drop your uh, telegram. And because, you know, we might just, you know, randomly just drop in and say, hey, I'm gaming. Who want a game on the telegram, man? So just drop your gamer tag. Hit me up and let me know if you want to be a part of that, man. It's something you can do with the whole team. Me, Alan Anthony, uh all p3 tech reviews we and the tech gentlemen we have you on uh, call of duty InShot, 
that's a video editor also but it's not like a you know movie maker or anything like that or intro maker basically video clips like maybe if i screen record something i thought was funny on instagram i could clean it up with InShot and make it just look like my own or just make it look more presentable you know when people repost and reshare stuff it looks crazy sometimes so when i uh maybe if i screen record something that i thought was funny i clean it up with InShot and post it and it looks nice and clean month calendar that is the actual app that i use to get my um how do you say to, to get my uh month widget this widget that i have right here boom that's what that's the app come from and there's many different uh setups or looks that you can have for your your, your calendar widget so very dope app there and we got the nova settings i'm gonna I'm actually click on this one guys the nova settings it's just a whole see nova launcher is very basic it's like almost like stock google but then there's so much customization that you can do you can do the home screen the app drawer the folders the look and feel with the icon preferences animation scroll speeds notifications night mode gestures and inputs integrations like google discover that's what i'm using so i can get uh <clears throat> my google information to the left so yeah the Note 20 is definitely getting used. The Note 20 is definitely a ultra. And um, I'm getting some productivity out of it, man, with some great apps, man. So I hope I, hope I helped y'all find some good apps that maybe you guys wanted to try out. But yeah, man, it's your man, BG Tech Life. I appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man, BG. I'm out. Peace.